guys live from Pine Tree Lane Outdoors. I am here amongst the pine trees as a matter of fact. I'm here in Killarney uh, for a solo overnight camping trip here, uh, winter version. Um, I decided to come here uh, today. Uh, it happens to be a little bit warmer than uh, I'd hoped. Uh, it is hovering around the zero uh, degree mark Celsius uh, here today. It's a little windier than I'd like uh, and actually a little warmer than I would have uh, preferred. A little bit colder, a little bit crisper. Uh, things are a little bit drier because um, it's a little bit warmer. Uh, it's, it's a little uh, little wet and uh, whatnot, but uh, we'll make the best of it. Uh, we're going to uh, tarp camp tonight and uh, let's see what uh, kind of fun we can have. All right guys, uh, this is what I used to hold in my gear. I used a sled this time around. Carry a little more stuff with me, uh, which for some reason I always bring more than I need, but. deadfall for firewood um, there's plenty of it around here so uh, not hard to find this particular area is fantastic for that and that's one of the reasons uh, it drew my attention as well uh, it's not gonna be hard to get a fire going and not gonna be hard to keep a fire going uh, for most of the night all right guys we'll just give you a quick look around the camp here and uh, basically, I'm gonna have the fire in that area, right there. We got a lot of uh, smaller stuff, some birch bark, slightly bigger stuff. This <laughs> kind of just happened. It was sunny, uh, and then all of a sudden, a little snow shower going on here. So I got everything under the uh, under the tarp, and uh, here we are. This is uh, winter in northern Ontario, guys. Sunny one minute, snowing the next. Could be raining the next. Who knows? It's coming down pretty good there now, though. So basically, uh, a little, I guess a little front move through with uh, some snow and stuff like that. Uh, it's a little darker than it appears on the camera actually. Uh, it's four o'clock. I'm gonna uh, get the fire going soon. Uh, other than that, uh, dry under the tarp, which is fantastic. Um, the, there was no call for snow tonight. So we'll, uh, we'll see what happens in that case. But. Uh, in uh, the winter you got to be ready for everything and um, uh, there's nothing perfect in the woods and uh, certainly uh, things aren't expected to go perfectly either so cotton walls vaseline never profess to be a the best bush guy out there or like that. I'm just out here to have some fun and make it easy. Again using the uh, makeup remover with it's been dipped in wax it's hardened now. I'm just gonna open that up so that our flame can get to it and this will stay lit.
As you can see, the fire is going pretty good right now. Uh, I'm just maxing, relaxing. I got the uh, OUTAD or UTAD chair going, so I'm uh, just chilling. I went and got some more wood, and uh, basically that's about it. I'm gonna uh, get some coals going here, and then uh, get a little supper going in a little bit. Other than that, uh, that's pretty much it. It's uh, been pretty quiet. Uh, we had that snow. Uh, since then, though, the wind has picked up a little bit here and there. Uh, it's still chilly out. Temperatures dropped a little bit. Uh, no doubt about that. Uh, basically, other than that, uh, this is not a lesson in bushcraft by any means. I <laughs> never profess to be a bushcraft guy. I love bushcraft. I love and enjoy the people that do it um, and do it well. And uh, but I give kudos to anybody who uh, who does does this. Just takes uh, the opportunity, comes out, and uh, enjoys the outdoors. Uh, you don't have to be an expert, as I've been kind of preaching all along. You can be anybody, and uh, you know, just uh, come out and give it a shot and give it a try. And that's pretty much uh, all I'm doing. If I was going to give any uh, any advice, guys, uh, basically when you're when you're camping in the winter, when you're outdoors in the winter. Um, your firewood doesn't last the same as it does in the summer or other months in the spring or fall. Um, it goes a lot quicker, so you need to gather up a lot more. Um, again, like this area is perfect. Uh, one of the big considerations was, you know, fuel source for, for fire, so to make sure that there was enough uh, either deadfall or dead standing. Uh, it hasn't really snowed too, too much uh, in the interior here at, at Clarny, it, it appears. Um, so there, you can still see a lot of uh, a lot of deadfall, which is good. Fire's still going, still going strong. It is definitely uh, the wind has definitely picked up, and the temp uh, the temperature is dropping. So definitely making for a more interesting uh, evening for sure. I'm gonna get uh, supper going soon. Uh, bratwurst sausage and potatoes that's gonna be uh, supper tonight all right guys just finished uh, supper it's delicious uh, potatoes uh, the bratwurst uh, sausages on a bun uh, I'm gonna have a coffee uh, no official beverage tonight just taking it easy and uh, uh, I'm going to sign off for the night now. I'll be going to bed uh, soon enough, and uh, I will talk to you guys uh, in the morning. Good morning, guys. Just in, uh, enjoying a Java to start today. Uh, it's still a little dark out here. Um, it was a uh, it was a it was a wild night. Um, lots of wind, and uh, I had the tarp set up. Uh, so that my my back side was against uh, against the wind, but it kept changing directions and stuff like that. So I made a slight adjustment to the uh, uh, to the tarp, which I'll show you here. Now with that adjustment, um, I was able to at least uh, keep semi warm. Uh, it got really cold out last night. The temperature dropped quite a bit. Uh, as I had said yesterday, it was around uh, zero. I don't know what the temperature is right now. I don't um, I don't have cell phone coverage um, or service, sorry. And uh, so I'll have to wait to my get to my vehicle to check that out. But I'll, I'll make sure I put that on the screen. Um, all in all, it was a good night. Uh, only probably got about four hours sleep though. Um, just with the howling winds, uh, at times it sounded like a freight train was going to be running right through uh, through the area. So it was pretty crazy. Um, like I said, sunrise now, just having the coffee, and then uh, I'm going to start packing up. Yeah, it's about an hour hike out of here. Uh, again, it's uh, backwoods country of uh, Clarny La Clouche Trail, actually off the La Clouche Trail. So it does require a little bit of uh, a little bit of hiking uh, to get this spot or a spot like it. So, Anyways, guys, uh, hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, uh, hit the like button. 
And if you like uh, the kind of videos I put out, don't hesitate. Please subscribe, hit the little bell so you get all notifications. And I thank you very kindly for watching. Thank you.